UAQC is an enormous topic in many fields, science, technology, engineering, industry. It's as important in a geoscientist to run rigorous programs as it is in opening up a pack of white t-shirts to put under your flannel. Ultimately, following these procedures ensure the quality of the data set and its subsequent analysis. In this three-part series, we will review the basics of QAQC, the steps that should be taken before commencing any type of survey, and how to confirm your data is okay to use. It's important first to recognize the breadth of geochemistry programs that you can conduct, stream sediments, soils, lag, talus, drill programs, and to recognize that each distinct program type requires its own well-thought-out QAQC program. It's then extremely important to stick up for your program to people that are trying to save every dollar in a budget. Do you really need blanks of 5%? The answer is a resounding yes. Stick to your guns because nothing is a bigger waste of money and time than a geochemistry program that is littered with bad data. When planning your geochem program, it's important to first define the program objectives and how they integrate into the overall exploration program objectives. As part of this, the key deliverables shall be defined as well as the expected outcomes. This may seem counterintuitive. How would you know what your outcomes are gonna be? An example would be my deliverables for my survey are gonna be determine the protolith, if there's mobile elements, track the alteration, and determine presence of mineralization or pathfinders to mineralization. The expected outcomes are to reduce the search area from 10 kilometers to one kilometer target area, or to recommend to leave the area. The next step would be to define the key risk and challenges. So for example, HEC, is the terrain challenging? Can I get the survey planned done on time and within budget? For your survey planning, choice of techniques. What is the most fit for purpose way to answer my question? Is it trenching, soils, streams? Your sampling methodology, so collecting soils on a grid. How am I taking my drill core samples? Analysis methodology, what digest, what instrumentation? Is an orientation survey required? Most likely, yes. Is landform mapping required? So for example, am I in a desert with a lot of colluvium and alluvium? Am I sampling the same material? Then you're gonna take into account your company's data management workflow. So what programs are you using? What's the database and logging and mapping programs? You're gonna then integration of sample data from the field database. And finally, you're gonna create a workflow for data analysis, including the approach and methodologies. This is an example of a generalized geochemistry QAQC workflow. And it's in particular is for drill hole samples. You'll notice in the legend that the orange color is a QAQC sample, and in peach is a process that is gonna be occurring at the lab. And the white boxes, so what you see over here, for example, those are those are gonna denote in-house processes. It's very important to consult with the lab and make sure that you both understand their workflow and make sure that it confirms within your company's requirements. Something that may be surprising is the amount of QAQ samples that you see here. For example, duplicates, blanks, more duplicates, your certified reference materials. All these have important roles to play towards ensuring the success of your program. Remember that each type of geochemical program is different. So for example, we got a drill program uh, and over here we had um, a soil st uh, study. And it's gonna be really important to ensure that there are standardized protocols for each type, taking care to adapt them where necessary for different projects.